Allen Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson says this violence is not random. He says it is targeted, fueled by gang members, and specifically, he says, people who have either shot or killed before. Tonight, he says it's time community members start turning gunmen into police. Tonight, parts of Chicago are in a crisis. What happened this weekend did not happen in every neighborhood in Chicago, but it is unacceptable to happen in any neighborhood of Chicago. As Lollapalooza raged downtown and the Cubs played on the north side, the most violent weekend of the year terrorized neighborhoods on the city's south and west sides. A dozen people killed, among them a 17-year-old girl shot in the face and a boy the same age on a bike. They have the same aspirations, same desires that I do for my children that you do. We can't solve these things without the community. That takes more than policing. The police are not going to save us. That the city is not going to save us. The cavalry is not coming. The cavalry is us. We have to save each other. Tamar Manassa is a one woman cavalry. She sits on the corner of 75th and Stewart in Englewood every day, and she has for four years. It's a matter of how do we get people to stop being afraid to come out of their homes and to re-engage with society. Once we take ownership of our blocks again, then it changes everything. Once the shock of the weekend violence wears off, police hope people will start talking about who's responsible for nearly 70 shootings. Despite this weekend's surge in violence, shootings for the year are still down from what they were last year. Both Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson are continuing their calls for stiffer penalties at a state level for repeat offenders. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.